Uh, you, you told us how to spot a liar, but you also said that things you can do if you feel like you're being lied to. Absolutely. So how do you not be a mark? You know, how do you let people know, I am someone that you don't want to mess with? Uh, one of the great moves is, instead of standing opposite someone, you can stand beside them and become their friend. This Salesmen know this. They do this to you already. So you're, you're beating them. You're flipping the script and getting there before they can get there. Stand beside them. A great move is when you stand beside them is to take up space. You could do the Superman, hands on your hips. A favorite of mine, especially for us women, is one hand on the hip and another hand on an object object right here like this. So what do you think I need to get done with my car? Uh, immediately, the liar is going to have an increase in stress, increased anxiety. What that means for you is an increase in your success. So take up space, stand beside them. The next move you can do, you think someone's lying to you, whether it's your kid, the, the wedding planner, the mechanic, simply as they're talking, do this. So everyone follow me, do this. Go, hmm, who does this to us? Our mothers and our librarians, right? <laughs> mothers and librarians say, shh. So without saying shh, if you just simply listen like this, you're saying, please stop talking and Have trying to sell me. Reporters do that as well. Like some people, you know, in cutaway shots and in interviews, a lot of reporters develop, you know, sort of what your cutaway shot is going to be. And there are a lot of reporters who sit there like this because I think it makes them think it, it makes them look more intelligent. Right. Yeah. It, <laughs> And sometimes it does. The right. last move is this. I just stare blankly. That's, that's my. <laughs> well, you just look gorgeous on camera and let it end, right? right? So everyone do steepling right here. Steepling. We see Donald Trump do this move all the time. Oprah Winfrey. Power, authority, and confidence. Great move, especially for my shy introverts who are afraid to speak up. Someone keeps interrupting you. They're overselling you. They're bullying you. If you're seated, simply create space. Lean back and do say nothing and do this. It is scary. If you've ever had someone say, come into my office, and you go in and they're doing this. <laughs> You're like, what did I do wrong? Uh -huh. I, I, I'm a, you know, I, write, I have clients write to me, and they say, Janine, I never heard of the steepling until I took your class, and now I'm addicted to the steeple. <laughs> you know, they steeple on the metro. I'm going to try that, the yeah. steeple. Everyone steeple again. Yeah. Now here, a low steeple. The mechanic's low steepling. What do you do? Higher steeple, the godfather. <laughs> right? They're pulling the godfather on what you on you. Uh, Guess what you do? Lean back and do the crowning <laughs> steeple. Everybody lean back. Crown that steeple. Right here. Right here. Right? We know I like that. I'm not gonna be messed with.